Blood dripped from an open wound on Lucas's hand. The good news was the sight of blood no longer made me lightheaded. The bad news was that it made me hungry. The reason my stomach was currently growling was because as we loaded up Beckett's monstrosity of a van, Lucas had cut his hand on a piece of rusty metal on the bumper. Good thing you're a werewolf, Connor said to Lucas, or you'd probably need a tetanus shot. Tansy, you okay? My boyfriend Vaughn asked in a way that told me I'd been staring way too long. I could still smell the blood. I could almost taste it. I licked my lips and then gave him a short nod. Connor quickly bandaged the wound, and Lucas sent me an apologetic smile. You okay? Vaughn asked me again, mistaking bloodlust for anxiety. He put a hand through his dark brown hair. He had a reason to be anxious. We both did. I nodded, but I couldn't open my mouth. I was worried my fangs would come down and then I'd lunge for the closest blood source. We'll find them, he said. I winced. The them in question was his dad and my mom, who were on their way to Vegas to elope. My mom made Cinderella's wicked stepmother look like mother of the year, so there was no way I was going to let her marry my boyfriend's dad, especially since my mom was a vampire who was almost certainly compelling her fiance. My grandmother and a few of the old crones book club came out of our bungalow to send us off. Granny handed me a bag. I made you a batch of tonic, extra strength. The tonic helped combat the worst of the vampire symptoms, like craving blood. I opened the bag, grabbed a bottle, and chugged it down. Tansy, I want you to be careful, she said, and don't forget to drink your tonic every day. I will, I promised. I leaned in for a hug. Don't underestimate your mother, she said. She's desperate, and desperate people are unpredictable. Call us if you need us, Evelyn added. I smiled at her. My granny's old crone's book club, aka Coven, had always been there for the Mariotti witches, though technically I was a streak of V. It was hard to believe that less than six months had passed since I'd become a witch vampire hybrid. My life was divided in two parts, before that party and after. Our group left for Vegas just after sunset. My best friend Skylar and I were in a black and purple van with four werewolves. 